she didn't know that I was going to also want to hear her husband speak. Now, as, as you segue right into what I wanted to talk about, which is how to solve the problems, and of course, you know, I sit a lot in toilets because I deal with sanitation. So that's why I'm now Mama Lou. Yes, cool. people call me Mama Lou. Everybody, hi Mama Lou. Toilets, that's what we do. And I have sat in some very awful toilets. And I feel that as an architect, you can figure out how we can get people to stop openly defecating because obviously for them it's better to be out there than in a bad designed toilet. Yeah. Yeah. Now if they were to go to Villa Monticello and go into that ladies lounge, they'd want to sit there all day long. Okay? They'd want to say their prayers, have their dinner, have some... Okay, yeah. we won't get into that. Yeah. How does design help us solve our problems? The basis problem, for me, is trying to get people to go ahead and use a toilet. You know, poop in a proper environment and hygienically evacuate. How do we get people to behave in a, in a better way so that we can save our environment from this scourge of open defecation. And so that's where I'm going with that one. Of course, yes, I did go into the sewer, but that's an important place to go at this time. Thank you. Sherry, I will not let Augustus answer this oh, question. Oh, Charlie, uh, me and... He, he'll be... You haven't even designed an outfit for me, Kofi. You know that, right? He'll be over... Oh. In, 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 in doubt if, or in doubt if, in doubt if. Yeah. No, seriously, I think, uh, Sherry, your question is not fair. Why? Because it's got nothing to do, it's, it's not the design, you're talking about a social cultural aspect of the society. And all what you say is we are class poor. Okay, we thank you. I'll get you later. But uh, the local toilets that exist were not designed. They, they they came about and there's nothing if you bring jesus christ down right now there's nothing you can do about it we have to wait for this evolutionary process to acquire wealth to create community toilets that is when august is coming until the funding is allocated then let's go and uh, civilize this community area, not the community, area. When Charles Wako Brobe came up with toilets when we were doing Ghana 50, they say, why are you talking about toilets? Like I said, but tourists are coming, they need to have decent convenience. It did not work. So, I guess it's good luck. <laughs> Um, That's why you're designing clothing. <laughs> um, I, I think it's a huge question and um, it, it would always go back into history and, and I think you've already given that, the culture, the way people behave. But I, I'm, I'm a strong believer that design can change the way people behave. Exactly. I, I'm a strong believer in that. I think um, it, it's not, and somebody asked me whether it's the government thing and you're going to build a hundred toilets to resolve the issue and design them. I, I don't believe in that. I, I think, and as I said, our philosophy is to change the landscape one building at a time. So again, I'm sorry to use, but very proud to also say that after Francis Carrere designed that school, in fact, the response was that all the other five communities now started walking longer distances to come to school at Gando. And then the government started feeling embarrassed and said, why should we let our people struggle? Let's build the same prototype. So somebody signed him on and said, can you redesign the same thing in other areas so that the kids don't have to walk all that way? So I believe that design can change something. I, I, if you think about it in the big, then maybe we are not getting there. But I think that if we can design these very sensitive spaces, they don't have to be the, you know, the toilets at Villa Monticello where you can have breakfast and all of that. But they, they, they have to be responsive to the problems of the people using the same local materials but also designing them so that when you get there you, you feel decent. 
Um, I realized that the people who live on the shore, and this was something I found out on my holiday, prefer to use the beach. Because technically, really, I haven't, I've never used the beach, you know. But, but you can also understand, you know, seeing the sunrise, yeah. the water crashing, it's, yes. it could be very inspirational. Uh, so, it's important for us to look really at the heart of the issue. Um, I, I agree with you, there are a lot of our problems that we are not applying our brains to. And, and I, I, don't, I say that with no apologies, because the government needs to be able to, to pinpoint Joe is doing something phenomenal. Let's call him on a platform. David Ajay is doing something phenomenal. Let's call him on a platform. Forget everybody else who wants to be a wannabe. Forget me, forget, forget everybody else. And go to these people who are paragons of knowledge. You see, you don't respect your society. You don't respect those who have gone to school, spend their whole lives like Kofi and B in design, the perspectives they will bring. And yet, you find out who is commissioned for some of these things. And, and it's, it's, it's disheartening. What, the people will keep going to the beach. So until we change that, then I think nothing is going to happen. Excellent. Unfortunately, this is my party, so I can take control of it. <laughs> <laughs> but Sherry, I think, just to answer, just, just to add to what you say, when I talk for me about design, I often don't really refer to edifice making. It's about policy. This issue of toilets and blah, 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 we have to ask, the core reasons why Dan Accra is choked. Because if you created policy where we could decentralize our economy through industry, people moving back to the regions and so forth, the only pressure on Choco for everybody to live, you know, in Jamestown. And therefore, we could, is that my phone or is it somebody? Oh, sorry. Um, what was I there wouldn't be pressure. To, so, so, pressure, so we, can, we need to get people to go back to the regions. I've, I've been very blessed to, 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 to be in Elmina for the past year. And there's a life outside of Accra. There's commerce, there's trade, there's business. So, and I think that if we create an industry in these provinces, we could all kind of decant Accra and we can all have our own toilets. <laughs> Wonderful. Um, unfortunately, we're going to take only one more question. Hey, this is going to be tough. Goodness, if you can be brief and perfy, perfy, um, and then... Okay, um, oof, sorry. Um, I'm Bernard Akui Jackson, and just a contribution. And it's, I kept hearing um, the fact that we are conservative in Ghana. And I don't think we were always conservative. And I think Richardson says something about... Um, our ancestors might have been more intelligent than us. And I think this is the point. Inherently, we are a symbolic people. There is depth in our idiosyncrasies, as you mentioned. Do we stop to go back to these? We don't have to keep repeating them, but as the borrowed aspects of idiosyncrasies and Cyrillic writing, what do we do as artists? What do we do as architects? Do we just build concrete buildings because we want development? I think these are the things we should question ourselves. And uh, we should start thinking like our ancestors thought. We should go to Per Ank, for example. We should go back to the house of knowledge because these are the things that make us. And I see that in the panel, I see that in what is happening here, and I see that in Ghana not being originally conservative, but very avant-garde and forward-thinking. Thank you. Thank you. One more. Hi, um, I'm Paulus, a creative director. Um, it's wonderful to hear what everyone is saying. But I seriously think there's one issue that needs to be looked at in a very critical way. Design is great, and design has always changed the world. However, what we are missing in the whole equation in Ghana right now is our education system. If the education system is not looked at and revived, none of what you're saying is ever going to work. So as an example, I start with the fashion design. If you have a fashion school that hasn't got all the other chains to make it work, 
you are going to have graduates who will never ever be designers because there is no industry in the first place. So all these other changes need to be in place before we start looking at the end goal and what is really missing in Ghana and in most cases in the whole of Africa is everyone is looking at the end game without actually looking at the actual seedlings. So if we're thinking about designs and how to solve the problems with toilets, it still needs to go right back to our education system. If the education system teaches the kids how to behave and why not to uh, you know, go to the beach and go to the toilet and literally pollute everywhere, then there's a solution that will start from that end. Um, we've also heard about architecture. Architecture in, 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 in Africa is something which we think is completely new, but it isn't. We all had our own system. The gentleman who just spoke a few minutes ago um, mentioned something that actually triggered something I've been thinking of for a very, very long time. We don't always need to westernize. We don't always need to do that. We can modernize what we have. We can always modernize what we have. We have a, a city like Singapore, which is very, very young. And if you walk into Singapore right now, you'd be amazed. You would think Singapore now is a first and a half world. We are ahead of a lot of the first worlds already. What, how they achieved that was through education. Education and nothing else. So if we miss, and, you know, if we stop, or if we don't modernize our education system, we can always sit here and, uh, you know, pat everyone on the back and say wonderful things and we're never gonna make it. Thank you. Thank you. I'd like to uh, say, Paulus, um, we have a clear agenda here to talk about impact of design in society. If we're going to go through the social structure, the funny thing, the whole of this one that we're talking about, the lack of our industry and the education and all that, so you trigger something. Don't start me up. I'll go probably on the whole evening. But we do have enough good designers in the system, as it is. Government policy, another story. The enabling environment to impact the society with the design ideas, another which God knows there are many, another story. Right. Singapore, I know Singapore, it is and they decide uh, they have good education. The funny thing is, the Malaysian development, Singapore development system was based on Kwame Nkrumah's five-year development plan. And that is not a, a lie. It's absolutely true. Um, we have a lot here. We've gone through processes. At one point, we had good details for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> we finished with that. We're on the dessert. We're trying to change the recipe <laughs> to recook the meal. So, at the moment, what do we do with design? How do we use design to impact what we have for lack of a better situation? We can't do Singapore. We can't do Malaysia, we throw our chewing gum on the floor. We don't even step on it, we walk away. We are lucky some of the dogs come and pick it up and swallow it. So our streets are not uh, multicolored with the chewing gum like we find in London on the streets. But um, let's think of how we can use design to impact what we have. Accra is actually quite unique. We sit here, we actually don't know. I travel around Africa and when the, even the air, air hostesses, Accra is their preferred stop of rest. I'm not saying it's okay, mm. but we have something that we can take and build on to create something uniquely better. Um, so, uh, thank you for your statement and question. <laughs> I'm sorry, we're going to deal with it afterwards. You can have a banter, it will be wonderful. Yeah, we're all going to have drinks. Oh yeah, drinks on you for asking too many questions. <laughs> um, but th thank you very much. I'm going to give everybody. Um, how's it been? How's it been? The vim is low. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's good. Wonderful. I'm going to give the panelists uh, one minute each to round off, and then we'll close it. But but I mean, since the vim is low, maybe I introduce myself properly on my first. 
I design stories, maybe. So can I design a little something for you to put something in? Until the raindrops bled, now heaven whispers words I never said. Born and bred on Baku and bread. Take a leap of faith and watch my wings spread. Bachelor's patterns, pizza boxes. Counts my blessedness, counts my losses. Monkey off my back, hold my horses. My heart's way tired on the race of divorces. Nauseous by the parking meter, it's out of order. People my quarters, day for Yankee like a villager. Big man, them they treat me like teenager. Their pressure, the pressure, each out, child by day like police and teeth. But now nah, I go host, I'll be just Johnny, just come for make do before me and wife you drop down. Oh. But wife you no longer around. So so I holla four dollars and pounds. CD Sanaira, fuck a four francs. If money talks, what does it cost to be frank? I didn't need speed, but my tank make empty. I didn't need vision, Mr. 2020. Charlie problems, shout on plenty, plenty. Oh me say make I pray, just maybe. But lately I just chuck I'm cool. My kitty they grow, it ain't here come boo. My ego boos, but refuse to lose my Alarm too loud, so I hit the snooze. Case of the blues, and it's not even Monday. It's high stakes, it's high. <laughs> Me for four, no snowflakes and cornflakes. These are the breaks of cook trying to relate. Hey, now everybody want logo, logo line. Papa dogo, eat the cocoa man of all kind. Chinga link above two women were behind. Cancerous time, but we talking about design. <laughs> One minute uh, round up. That was good. I need to five minutes. Come <laughs> on, a minute ago, when you first said me, we were sitting here speaking Ghana English. All of a sudden, you went to New York and came back. Oh my goodness. Is it a false one? Me and I come. But seriously, um, Industry is an ugly place without art or design. So it's like that is design. The way when, when you wake up in the morning, how you take your bath, the bathroom that you take your bath in, the type of toothbrush that you use, even the colors in your toothpaste. Do you go up and down? Do you go sideways? You know, because the dentist told you that if you break this way. It gets out of the plug and all that. It's all a design. Okay, let's apply design into our lives, make life a bit more beautiful. Amen. Because without design, I'll be brief. Um, my message is, do not be afraid to be brave. Do not be afraid to sing your own song. Do not be afraid to be different and do your own thing because uh, you have to break the rules. You have to do something that has not been done before you. Other than that, you're just spreading the same path that everybody else did before you. Obviously, uh, and most probably, would not be understood, but it makes no difference as time goes on. Your design that was misunderstood 20 years ago would become so relevant all of a sudden. And that's, and that's when you'd be able to impact people and impact change. Obviously, design matters, but as Augustus has been saying the whole evening, it's good design that matters. It's not just any design. But nevertheless, don't let anybody tell you that your design is bad. Because people would try to tell you that what you're doing is crazy. But that's probably because they don't have the vision yet. So you pursue your design. You do it. But then, don't get too comfortable, don't get too arrogant, don't think that, okay, I'm a genius and everybody else is stupid, you know. Ask time, just allow sometimes, do heed some, some people who you respect and who you think have a vision. Yes, do listen to the advice and also allow for change because as you evolve, your own perception and your own perspective would also change and maybe you would modify your design and it would get better. So, but nevertheless, as I said, don't let anybody sway you from pursuing your dream and your course. We need crazy people to make life fun. I'm wondering, after a rap session, uh, after Uncle Kofi and his anecdotes, and after the 
What can I say? Um, I think that what I, I would hope that we all take away from this uh, is, is, is to the three people. Um, number one, the architects, the designers, uh, the creatives. We, we have to be good at what we are doing. We, we owe it to humanity to, to give the best service that we can. Um, we have no business uh, trying to think about our stomachs only. And that's the kind of thing that you see. And that's why our landscape, I'm speaking from an architectural point of view, is, is cluttered with stuff that we can't be proud about. I think that it's important for designers and Back to, uh, I don't know, the guy who talked about education, is he still there? Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, I, I, I agree with you. Architecture schools have to take architecture seriously. Design schools have to take design seriously. And they have to teach the students to be passionate, to, to design with philosophy and concept. They, they used to laugh about it when we were in school. I remember a lot of people used to laugh and say, Mr. Concept, Mr. Philosophy, but that's why yeah. we're here today. Yeah. Um, so that's the first group of people I want to you know, talk to. The second group of people are the clients, corporate and individual clients. Please, 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 you owe it to yourself to spend your dollars very well. And I said dollars, not CDs, because nobody prices a contract in CDs. The CD is misbehaving, you know. So um, it's, it's important that because you're going to put a dollar into construction, you owe it to you know yourself to get the designer to do something that truly works. Today, there's a lot of um, um, simulations in, uh, in 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 software, you know, um, Revit, Archicad, whatever. You can see your building before it's built and make them, you know, put them on a coffee table and have a discussion about it. Because invariably, I believe that design, that we need to be um, good citizens. We need, we need to, design has to um, be a good neighbor. It's good neighborliness. I call good design good neighborliness. Because if you go, if anybody came here right now with dirt on his shirt and smelling, we won't be happy. A lot of clients will say to me, it's my house, but no. People may never enter your house, but they'll have the opportunity to walk by it. And if it's a blessing to them, it makes the environment better. To the bigger corporates like banks and those things, you are creating Ghana. It's important for you to make sure that this country is a great country that we believe it is. You have no business trying to go to Europe, look at glass filled buildings, and ask your architects to do the same thing. Again, my reference, the IFC. They have to take the IFC to show us and a lot of other good buildings that we should do this. The third group, government. You know, um, there's, I'm sure there are a few people in government here, and that's why I said to Joe, we can't continue to do this here. We need to take this to the streets, and we need to show them first of all, and once we do, we take them to it and let advocacy work so that this country will be a great time. Thank you very much. You can clap for them, they did amazing. Well, I think the AID concept, which um, was a team effort in itself, Kofi Blankson is here, and um, Amechi Dili, who is the CEO, we came up with this idea. This, the, the idea behind AID today has been captured. The essence of AID was, has been captured by you on the panel and your incredible poignant thoughts and ideas. Thank you very much for being here. Thank you very much. Um, I would like to also talk about the, the design is about the collective. It's about partnerships. It's about collaboration. And I'd like to um, recognize your partner, Augustus. Please stand up. Because all the work and ideas we have to recommend I'm sure B, you, you have people that you work with, you can mention them and, 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 and also manifest. It's about the shared idea. It's not about the individual. I think this is what we as creative people bring to bear, the collective. So I like to celebrate togetherness and sharing. Um, I would also like to remind all of you who want to come to the Archie Africa Conference in Lagos, which is in April. Uh, it's being uh, sponsored by, again, 
the Broad Intellect, who will be staying at Broad Intellect Festa. It's going to be an incredible uh, three days with Hugh Matakela as, uh, as our chairman to look at how culture and the arts and, of course, architecture shape the built and uh, cultural space of Africa. We really want to create this link between the built environment and culture and the arts. And so this will be a great platform for all of us to come to Lagos. I'm not paying for it, you only pay for yourself. But, uh, <laughs> but please do, do come. And uh, a little bit of an announcement here. Our dear friend and collaborator, Ben Bracco, is the founder of the, the Dream Child 3 program. It's a concert every year to raise money and awareness for for children. I think we should all support it. It's going to be at the African Region Hotel uh, February the 4th at 6 p.m. Ben, do you want to say a few words or just a few words? Ben, don't, don't talk too much, you'll get tired. Opportunity anyway. Uh, February the 4th is the press launch, but the concert itself is on the 22nd um, March yeah, at the National Theatre. And um, I just wanted to make a small comment about what happened and the lady's question about you know, defecating on the beaches and these people's comment about being with the people, understanding why they need to do that and then designing for them. Uh, there was some interview, somebody was actually defecating on the toilet and uh, radio cookie. I said, look, they built a toilet for you, why are you still doing it on the beach? He says, Obama, you own ya, we call you You know, so when you understand that, you understand that the design has to take account of that. Simple. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Ben, for your wonderful take on what we do every morning. Um, so I'd also like to thank the AIDT Tuli who's here, who organizes this every year, every every month, with the uh, Mawanya and Derek and Atu and everybody else. We thank you for your continued support, and we'll see you in a month. Yes. In a month, and then Lagos. Thank you very much. Uh -huh. I feel start this one sir. Sing it down. Boys are bread all week. Miss it. Yeah, time is money. I did watch the bezel. Dance with the devil. He know they my level. Two left feet boys I bread all week. No rest for the weary and ambition, no they sleep. Not about image, not about gimmicks. All lyrics, they feel it. This is only scrimmage. Cut fill it over. Yamit, thanks for the spillage. Trying to raise my young king, might take a village. Benada, Mimida, Ukuada. Almost see I don't mean to our Ubuada. I shoot you guy between Benz and Okada. Seek a sense, you can't tell me nada. Devil was Prada. Angels wear wings, I'm the new king. Kula kula bow down, kiss the ring. I do it to myself, while I'm too. While I'm some my flow straight, you're a bow legged. I know they fear against us, against the build character. On Twitter, leaving blood stains to 140 characters. Sing it, damn it. I know go lie, you, Charlie. Till these gray skies turn blue. Mania Rio. I know go lie, you, Charlie. Till these gray skies turn blue. Yeah, my eye red like a Somali pirate I'm a public figure but I can't fly private Wanna close my eyelids, rest up my iris I did on shades for club, a bit embarrassed And my nigga fool, he told me this Find a chick who helps you get rich and stay rich I swear thing, I know they here, ain't that some shit They take girls with mad baggage, ain't that a trip mm. They say my wordplay, they believe it's ether Okay, this just in, Bieber fever Justin, Justin, whatever I feed ya You for Bob, you forget, no amnesia he ain't see no evil or trouble So a deaf husband and a blind wife are a good couple I take risks, no stun double It's a celebration on my elevation Let's blow bubbles Make I have my belt Kiddies all buckle Inside Tiani Nanya pit But I all got knuckles Hennessy got me pumped up and talking stupid Boy and I was a gunfight the dumb cupid Dapper I bought a year They up as the fear Them times in Yankee We used to shed tears I didn't feel the pressure Make diamonds like the BS New King on the new team Sing it damn it I no go lie you, Charlie Till these gray skies turn blue 